who controls information overwhelmingly controls mass perception. They don't want us to know the true nature of reality, because if we did, then the pennies would start to drop on why human society is as it is. You don't need a scientific mind to understand the world. You do not need an academic mind to understand the world. You need an open one. And if we are going to turn this world around, people have to take their perceptions back. It's very clear that humanity is being manipulated generation after generation into what I might call a perceptual bubble. Perceptions are everything. What you perceive is how you behave. It's everything. It's your perceptions, what I would say programming, because if you look at a human life, you come out of the womb and you hit parental programming, which is not through malevolence, but the parents have been through what you were about to go through and bought it. So they pass that programming on to you. You hit the education system at an ever earlier age. And now throughout your formative years, you've got representatives of the state who are giving you the state's version of everything all the way through your formative years. The media is pounding the same version of reality at you. Science is telling you that. And then you've got peer pressure around you that's been through the same programming of perception and accepted it and believed it. And they give you a hard time if you have a different perception to what they've been programmed to have. And basically, we've got a situation where from cradle to grave, a human life is a perceptual download and this consensus waves away any idea that reality, as mainstream science tells us, ludicrous, that there can be any manipulation of human society by a non-human force we can't see. And all the, um, all the perceptual download holds us in this narrow band of sense of the possible. And it puts people in bubbles. They, people are breaking out of them now more and more, but, but m most people are still in this bubble. And this bubble has a reflex action response to anything that is not in the perceptual range of the bubble. So when people like me come out and say, blah, 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 we're being manipulated by a non-human force, the bubble reaction is you're mad. This is how the perception thing works. And what I'm saying is when you study it deeply, these perceptual bubbles constantly are uh, underpinned by what like, we call the education system, by the media and all that stuff. And journalists, where do they judge, report the world from and observe the world from? The bubble, because they've been through the same perceptual download as everyone else. It's the blind leading the bloody blind, really. And so we have um, this uh, situation where you've got this perceptual tram lines and it's been done systematically. They don't want us to know the true nature of reality. They don't want us to know the true nature of history. Because if we did, then the pennies would start to drop on why human society is as it is and how mysteries can be explained with perfect simple logic once you realize what reality is, as opposed to what we're, we're uh, told it is. And if we are going to turn this world around, people have to take their perceptions back and realize that the world they think they've been experiencing all their lives ain't the one they're actually experiencing. And once you realize how this reality really works, then you start to understand that this cabal, it knows that. It knows how we decode reality. It knows that we decode reality and experience reality as a result of the perceptions we have. Thus, not only can they get people to believe things, but through the beliefs they, they get people to accept and to believe are real, they're also dictating people's experience. And the whole thing is a, a perceptual trick, a perceptual magic trick. Now, where do we get our perceptions from? We get them from information received. We get them from a personal experience, that's information. We get them from the 10 o'clock news. We get them off a Facebook post. We get them off a radio station or whatever. 
And from that information, we form our perceptions, which then become our behavior and responses. So who controls information overwhelmingly controls mass perception. And this is why this death cult controls the media. This is what all the censorship now is all about. It's to stop other information being received by people to challenge the official narratives of everything and in challenging them, as we've both seen the power of it, to change perception as a result of having an access to a different perspective and source of information. They're trying to cut that off. It's what it's all about. And this is why to an extent, the mainstream media will go so far because it has to, to maintain any credibility like the Epstein thing. But it stops. It stops before the finger comes out the dike. You don't need a scientific mind to understand the world. You do not need an academic mind to understand the world. You need an open one. And when you open to uh, information as it exists, rather than stay on the postage stamp and ignore that, then you start to see the world as it is. Don't confuse the limits of your mind with the limits of possibility. They're not the same thing. You must keep the target population in conflict and at war with itself, divide and rule. Because while the target population is at war with itself, they are not seeing who's controlling all sides with the same hands on, on the strings. It's all about perception, because they know that perception becomes behavior, behavior becomes society. And uh, you see this um, everywhere you go. When you're not telling the truth and you cannot explain yourself in a way that isn't sinister, then you have to lie. And if you lie, then your lies better be pretty damn bloody good. And you better be pretty damn bloody bright. If you keep repeating a lie, eventually it becomes truth. And this is how they work. And the media, of course, which is ultimately owned by this cult, if you go deep enough, they play the game of repeating untruths till they become and everyone knows that mate. This is a cult which has an agenda for human control on a global and technological level. We need to start going down this road and not being intimidated into silence and not being intimidated into sharing things. Why is this happening? Why are these people always being protected? And uh, we've just got to grow some backbone because the evidence is there and it just needs to come out. The mainstream everything, whether it's mainstream science, mainstream media, mainstream politics, mainstream everything, is telling you what the mainstream everything's ultimate control is, which if you go deep enough is the cult, wants you to believe. So the mainstream media basically says question nothing. Then you've got RT saying question more, but not too much. And then you've got people like me who say question everything, everything take everything off the table as a gimme. Um, familiarity is a wonderful way of mind controlling perception because once something becomes familiar, it becomes a gimme, it becomes unquestioned. That's just how things are. Everyone knows that, mate. Question everything. And when you do, you'll see almost none of it stands up, not least the nature of reality and who we are and where we are. And uh, that's why they're censoring people that are exposing aspects of the cult agenda. That's what it's all about. And uh, so you can either sit around and moan about it and say, oh, you know, tough in it. Oh, you know, we're, you know, I'm a martyr. Or you can say, okay, are we going to deal with it? So we have to deal with it and, and, um, and prepare for it. And that's what we've done.